Now that you know the important step of creating your web form and setting up a list within your autoresponder, I'm going to show you now step by step how to actually set up your squeeze page using a template that you are being provided. So uh, what you're going to see here is um, you're going to have an actual template, a squeeze page template that you can actually work with and um, that way it's a lot easier for you. Now of course squeeze pages are going to always look different uh, but we're going to give you a basic template to work with uh, that you can start with and just kind of plug and play with the information that you need uh, to go with. So uh, that's first and foremost is you need to start with a template or at least you know start with the squeeze page of some sort. Next thing you need is you will need the FileZilla FTP program. Uh, you don't have to have FileZilla if you already have an FTP program, uh, but FileZilla is absolutely free. And so you can just go to Google and type in FileZilla, and it's going to look just like you see in that screenshot when you're actually using it. And I'm actually going to be using that um, in the next few minutes here. So make sure you take note, go out to Google, type in FileZilla, and FileZilla works for um, Mac and it also works for PC so um, no matter what computer you have you should be able to get FileZilla to work for you. The next uh, file you need or software that you're going to need that is that is absolutely essential is you will need an HTML editor and for this I actually use Composer and um, so you will need to go get a copy of Composer. It's absolutely free again and once again this actually works on both the Mac computers and on the PC so no matter what machine you're using it's going to function the same and it should uh, work for whatever you know machine you're using so uh, make sure you go out to Google and type in Composer and make sure you spell that with a K and you'll come across uh, their website which should be Composer.net and you can actually just download it like any other software so make sure you get FileZilla and Composer because uh, FileZilla will help you get the, the files we make uh, help make your squeeze page get live on the internet and Composer will help you edit the squeeze page template or create your own squeeze page or download page template later on and of course, you know, you need to be, um, you know, ensure that you do have that free irresistible offer at this point in time. Um, that's uh, something that you can come up with. It could be a free report, could be a free uh, video series, um, it could be, you know, a free audio, it could be a free CD that you're sending people. You need to have some sort of free irresistible offer, though, uh, for people. So make sure uh, you have that in place. And you can always use private label rights materials. Um, for your free irresistible offer. Um, so for that you could go out to a site called the plrstore.com the plrstore.com so T H E P L R S T O R E and just look for a product uh, related to your niche market and basically come up with a free report or a video course or whatever you know niche you're trying to go for you should be able to come up with something um, that you could work with and kind of put together into an irresistible offer because you of course need that offer to get them to want to sign up for your list so make sure you have that as well in place and ready to go so that you can do the next steps which is to set up your squeeze page uh, next thing you're going to need is a download page um, you know basically that says you know thank you um, thank you for your purchase if, if you were setting this up for people that bought you would also um, use this page as well for you know thanking people for um, you know signing up for your list and this is where they would go to download that free report the free movie the, um, the free DVD series if it's an online version of it um, the free audio that's where they would go download everything so you need to have that download page so you can deliver that free irresistible offer and we'll be going over that as well and then finally uh, we will discuss briefly the unadvertised bonus and so um, an unadvertised bonus um, is typically like an affiliate program where you'll get things like um, for limited time only um, you know you can make 100 percent commission on something um, and maybe that's a way to get people to promote for you um, you could give them um, additional training that maybe uh, you know goes goes to another 
another course. Um, maybe somebody else is giving away something for free and you could actually be an affiliate for them. Uh, there's, there's just a lot of options here um, and then you might be able to make commissions on that. So you might want to do some searching around uh, for your niche. Um, and if nothing else, even if it's not an unadvertised bonus, maybe it's an unadvertised special or something like that or it's a special deal um, that you can put on your landing page. So uh, maybe uh, it's another digital product related to the, the product they signed up for. So that's the idea here is you want to have some other way to make money from your download page so um, your, your list building you're making money from that your list building um, you know your list building which is important uh, number two is you've got your special offer to make money from and then a third way to make money is of course to have your unadvertised bonus set up and ready to go so we're gonna go off uh, the PowerPoint here and jump into uh, some step-by-step on-screen training showing you how to use composer and how to use these templates to actually set up your squeeze page and most importantly we're gonna take that uh, autoresponder code and we're actually going to be able to insert that into this particular template and the process of inserting uh, this coding into your template is going to be the same no matter what your squeeze page looks like so keep that in mind okay so we're gonna go um, back in here to Aweber and uh, one little thing I wanted to show you is in the last video we showed you how to set up your list and showed you how to grab your web form code for both Aweber and Get Response. And in either one, once your um, once your list is actually set up, you can just go out to where it says Publish, or go out to where you have Web Forms. So you'd click on Web Forms, and then you'll want to select Publish uh, if you need to get the code again. And uh, like I mentioned previously typically the easiest way to deal with this is with the JavaScript code because if you compare that one line of code to this massive amount of code it's a lot um, there's a lot to deal with there you know and it, it's more difficult to change later on um, just because you don't want to miss anything so I typically like to deal with the JavaScript coding but that's going to be up to you um, either way you can click in that box and it will highlight everything that you're going to need so I'm just going to highlight this here and grab this code so we'll just copy that and I like to use a notepad file have a notepad file open um, so if you're on a on a Mac there's a program called text edit that's free um, if you're on a PC of course you'll have notepad um, that is also a program that you can actually um, that comes free with with most Windows computers so um, it's good to have a notepad file open so you can copy and paste uh, things like that code in there so I've copied and pasted that web form code in there and uh, the next thing I've done is I've got my copy of composer opened up on my computer so um, composers opened up and what you see here is I've actually got a template um, that you guys are going to get access to so um, what you guys are going to get access to is this template um, so that you guys can just work with all the, the content that's already here um, this is already set up um, for an example um, you know giveaway products so you can actually just change this to fit your needs you know so discover the secrets to you know losing weight faster with this free step-by-step -step system discover the secrets to improving your golf game with this free proven step-by-step -step system um, discover the secrets to um, having a better garden with these free proven step-by-step -step, um, you know secrets or system or whatnot so you get the point is you can change this text around for anything you want you know um, no matter what your niche market is so um, whether it's golf, whether it is make money online, the beauty of um, you know any kind of, of of using a template is it's a lot easier to to you know just work with. And this is a proven you know squeeze page template. It's got you know the the picture of your product here. Um, it's got the bullet points so people can you know kind of get excited about it. Of course, it starts with the headline. Um, headline's the most important part because you need to draw people in you know with this headline. So. Um, and the great thing is it's just point and click simple you can work on a Microsoft Word document if you can type um, on your computer you can actually work with composer so I'll show you here like let's let's just say for example uh, that you are trying to help people improve their golf swing so um, you know let's just say discover the secrets to um, improving your golf swing today with this free proven step-by-step -step system or something like that so maybe it's a free report on how to improve their golf swing maybe it's a free video course you're giving them um, whatever it is um, you would put this in there so uncover the key to 
lowering your golf score and of course if you wanted to do anything like um, you know back here like change if something's bolded or not bolded you can just highlight it and you see the the bold the italicize the underline you know in the bold feature right there it's a lot like if you were dealing with um, you know Microsoft Word again or if you're working in your email system you know where it lets you just um, you know easily bold things that's pretty much um, how this works as well so keep that in mind um, anytime you need to edit anything you just it's just a matter of putting your mouse in there and changing the text around to fit your needs you know so um, you could say this golf um, this let's see this free This golf swing video course covers how to quickly and easily improve, how to quickly and easily cure your golf slice so you can lower your score, your score immediately, even if you have never, never made an improvement to date or whatever the main thing here I just wanted to show you guys a few ways of, of how I'm using this template um, to kind of make it my own now right here where you want to put in your image um, you can just highlight that and simply just go to insert image up here insert image and then you would simply just browse on your computer um, you know to where a good image might be that you could actually pull in there and use you know so that could be an e-cover image could be a golfing image could be a a screenshot picture of you um, in there as well which is also important so um, that's that's what would go in there um, down here you've got home about privacy and actually you're gonna get access to all of these templates and um, what you can see here if I were to open up just click on the open button then I would actually browse on my computer um, like let's just pretend like if you were attaching an email it would be the same process that's how simple it is you just op click on open and you can go through um, wherever you save this these templates and I could go here and say okay I want to edit you know the privacy policy for example so you know here you would change out your business name and then you come in here change out your email now keep in mind that um, with these policies um, you might want to get these you know double checked with an attorney um, you may want to consider using your own privacy policies but these are just some basic uh, privacy policies that we actually included here so you um, you know can at least get started with the basics that you need you know um, especially if you're offering internet marketing make money products you'll most certainly want like an earnings disclaimer because that's super super important so now that you kind of understand how to deal with the squeeze page template, um, let's go ahead and insert our HTML code into that template. So let's go ahead and just insert our HTML code into this template. So remember here I saved it into a notepad file. So let me just highlight that, right click, and choose copy on that HTML code. And I'm going to go down here um, in Composer to where it says Source. So you'll notice here it says Source. And inside this template, um, we are going to um, just kind of look through the code here. And you'll remember right down here the last text that's going to show up because you want your code to show up here. It's going to say Start Learning and Implementing the Information. So that's going to be kind of what we're looking for in here. Um, you could also do a search in here. Um, you can do an edit and a uh, find and replace feature. So just type in um, find text and let's say the word was information that we were looking for. So there it is. So finding and implementing the information. So that's that last sentence. That's what I like to do if I can't find anything. Um, is just go to edit and then you can click find and replace. So here's where that code would go. Um, right here you see we've got a get response code copied in here. Um, but in, in your template we'll have an Aweber code. So you can just um, paste that code in there and go right on over to where it says 
you know back to normal and you'll see the word script show up for the JavaScript if you use the HTML coding all that HTML coding the form would actually display right here uh, but this won't display until we actually go you know take a look at the template here so we can go to squeeze page files and just open up a demo version of it and you see here there's our sign up form now so um, it looks you know looks really clean it integrates very nicely and you can of course pick any template yours is going to look different so you know you could put in the name here and then um, you know put in the email and then you could hit you know sign up now just to see what happens you know after you've tested things but um, that's basically the gist of it, you know, is, is you make your modifications using Composer. So you, you make this template work how you want it to work for you. Uh, you edit the copyright information, of course, with your business name or your personal name. You put in your address, um, your business address or your, you know, wherever you're running your business from. Um, just to kind of stay in compliant, you can put that down there. And then you put in your autoresponder code using the same strategies used in the previous video to set up your list and to actually go into your list and um, you know you know to set up your list and then how to go into your list and then um, put in grab your autoresponder form and set up your form so uh, but once you just copy and paste that code in there it should integrate quite nicely for you now the next thing um, we're going to work with here is our download page file. So um, this is a download page template. Again, this template's going to going to function just like the actual squeeze page file. Um, but this is where you put in, you know, how to download your free um, report. For example, let's say you know we were given a I was using a video on the front end, but let's just say, um, you know, your free report if that's what it is. Below you'll find the download links for the, um, you know improve your golf game report so it's just you know plug and play simple and then uh, right here wherever you end up uploading your file um, which I'll actually show you how to upload files here in just a moment um, this is where you would go in here and just highlight you know click here to download um, you know your video so click here to download step one video or we just say insert um, link and then we would put in a direct link, you know, to the the PDF file. If it was a, you know, PDF we're giving away or whatever you're giving away, um, you would make sure you link that up. And right here, you actually see conveniently, um, we've got something set up. So you could actually go in here and put in, um, you know, a special unadvertised bonus or a special one-time offer, um, as we talked about on the PowerPoint slides. So you know, like let's say you got HTML code for a banner for something that's relevant. Maybe it's a a video course on golfing, um, and it doesn't have to be an unadvertised bonus. It could be just something that's related uh, to the actual product, or it could be a link that goes to your special offer offer if you are dealing with the special offer um, but it's just another way for you to make money um, because of course people are coming to your download page to get what you what you want they're of course interested since they signed up so you may as well have another relevant offer to make money from so um, you can just come down here to the source code and you could come in here and just like um, copy and paste in you know your special offer details and um, you know copy and paste in that code and right here your special offer could display so um, just gives you another option you could have three or four different banners related to your market if you want to you know just kind of really spru spruce up this page and then of course you know make sure that you've got your about your privacy and all those pages as well so um, copyright your business name would go right there Another thing you're going to need um, set up, and you could choose to have this special offer show up or not. Um, that's going to be completely up to you. Um, if you don't want anything there, you can just click on this little, you know, table here with that little X to to delete it, or you could highlight this, you know, and just um, delete it using the delete key. Makes it very very simple um, for you actually. So, but what we've got here is. Um, We've actually got our download page or thank you page. So this is the page that people would go to. So okay, um, after they've signed up for your form, so they sign up for your form, and this again would be that page uh, that you're sending people to. So um, this is going to be that page. So congratulations, claim your free. Let's just say um, your report 
follow the steps below. And this is a you know just a good page to send people to, um, especially if you're using Aweber and get response because most of the time um, you have your settings set to double confirmed opt-in, um, and sometimes you don't have a choice. So um, it's important to do this step because you want to make sure people understand that they need to go check their email in order to receive the download instructions. And inside, um, as we showed you in the previous video, that's where you would go into your confirmation. That's that confirmation message they received that says make sure you click on the confirmation link. So um, all this thank you page does is direct them to do that process. And then of course make sure you change the copyright at the bottom of this page as well. So, um, But in anything you do on these, it's just as simple as putting your mouse in here, changing the text to whatever you want. You know, so you know changing the text whatever you want um, copying and pasting in a special offer if you have it and then after you make any change just click on save up here at the top so um, we'll just go ahead and click on save one other little thing um, just from a side note um, just to help you get a little bit more traffic with your squeeze page if you come in here to the source code uh, right here at the very top you're gonna see the title tag so again on your actual squeeze page template one more time We'll go to source code, and right here in the at the very top of the page, you're going to see it say title, and inside the title section, you would want to put in your main keyword phrases. And the reason you want to do this is because your main uh, keyword phrases will help you rank in the search engine. So you want to put in the keywords that relate to your free offer. And uh, basically, what this does is this enables your squeeze page to potentially get some traffic from the search engines directly instead of you know from all the other methods you're doing which is going to be great because you're going to be doing a lot of methods like solo ads and ad swaps and um, safe list marketing you're going to be doing a lot of uh, just a lot of things to list build with so make sure uh, that you are including that as well um, right here you know make sure you're including that title in there so uh, but this is uh, again how you set this up now, uh, now that you've got these things set up, you need to actually get them live and onto your server, um, so you can actually, you know, start using them to list build with. So, um, what you need to do is open up FileZilla for this process, and this is the, you know, really the final step um, that you need to actually go through here. So, um, what you want to do is open up FileZilla, and inside FileZilla, um, basically on the left hand side here, these are all the files on your computer um, and then on the actual right hand side here these are the actual files that you see um, on your actual web hosting server so what you want to do here um, when you set up your web hosting company um, whether it's Bluehost or HostGator um, or any any other major hosting company they're gonna ask for your host name which would be um, your URL um, the domain name that you are actually setting up and getting traffic from so you'd put in um, the domain name and then you'd put in uh, the username and then put in the password um, up there at the top. So put in the you know the host name, which would be your website. So it's typically going to be yourwebsite.com. Uh, username would be the actual username um, that your hosting company provides for you. So username would go here, and then password is your password, and that would actually plug in there. And then you can just hit quick connect, or um, you can come in here at the top left corner and you could actually set up your um, you know set up your website inside here as well so you could put in um, you know log on type as normal and put in your username put in your password and then your host name here and then it would just be as simple as coming in here and just selecting um, your host now for this example here I've already actually um, connected to this host here so I'm just gonna uh, plug that in here and we're just going to click on the quick connect feature and I just connected to my server. Now the important thing to note is most of the time, in fact 90% of the time, when you get to this stage you're going to be looking for public HTML, uh, public HTML and the right hand side again is all the files on your web hosting company. So um, inside here um, this would be, you know, like the main, like your main folder inside here. So this is kind of like all your files for your websites and everything. Um, now inside here, I'm going to um, simply come on in here, and we're just going to choose uh, create directory. 
inside here so I'm just gonna right click and choose create directory and um, we're just gonna call this squeeze page or in your case you could call it let's just say free offer uh, related to your market and of course if you um, want to make this your main website you can as well which means um, if you logged in most likely especially if it's a brand new site you're not gonna see any files in here like right now um, I've got plenty of files in here for you to use um, but in this case if it was brand new there really wouldn't be any files in fact when you first log in it may look like this um, so you would just upload all your files there um, now in my case I created a directory created a folder so when I go um, to the the address bar in the search engines I would actually go there and type in you know my URL and then forward slash free offer and that would be um, my squeeze page and that's perfectly fine too so all I'm gonna do here is simply um, you can hit control A or command A if you are on a Mac doing this and it will highlight all of these files in here including the image folder and we're just gonna right click and choose upload you could also upload each file individually as well um, so like if you make a, a specific change to like your index file you can come in here and just select upload right click and choose upload and if at any time you want to change you know these URL names um, you can do that as well so you could type in here and just say um, you know call this download page one two three or you could call it you know DL page one two three you could do that as well um, but that basically um, in, in a nutshell is how you get the files from your computer onto your hosting company and that's the important part of the process so uh, just to test it out we would go here to our site so I'm just gonna plug this in here I am tech training course.com forward slash free offer and you should see your squeeze page um, is showing up here that should actually be showing up live now so um, with all the with all the nice changes you made so that that should be displaying live there and then um, we can check out the download page we'll just say DL page 123.html and that should also be showing up here there's the download page and then um, after that you can check the um, squeeze page as well so you could go to um, free video thank you um, we could check out the thank you page to see if that's going okay and that's why it's important to check it just to make sure your links are working properly and then your about us page you can click on those to make sure those are functioning well and you can test these out you know like your terms and all those kind of things if you upload it correctly all those should already be in there but you will wanna make sure that you've gone through you know and of course modified those for your business you wanna make sure your squeeze page is displaying right for you as well um, and then that's again like I said in a nutshell that's a process of getting your files on the internet and wherever you put them you know whatever folder you're gonna go to your your address bar type in your website address and then type in um, you know forward slash you know free offer type in the directory name of where you've actually put everything in there so that's how you get your squeeze page up and live on the internet that's how you get your thank you page set up and all of that uh, process so um, one other important thing if we were to have our thank you um, let's see free video thank you this is our thank you page URL so if we were to copy this page here and um, make sure we go in uh, to the web form settings and you notice here the thank you page originally we had set the smart video version or in get response we had set the basic version they have this now is where you could actually change this to custom page custom thank you page and you would just copy and paste that in there and uh, just select save web form so that means as soon as people fill out the form they're gonna be taken to this thank you page right here and then finally one other thing we'll set up uh, the download page I'll show you where to actually put that um, DL page one two three this is the download page link that we've got 
and you can of course change these names you know through the FTP uh, but let's just copy this one and inside Aweber where you've got your list set up just go to list settings and you are going to go to confirmed opt-in confirmed opt-in and you are going to go to confirmation success page URL this is where you would copy and paste in uh, your confirmation success page. So once uh, your page is confirmed, this is where you would copy and paste. Uh, once they click the confirmation page, this is the page they land on. And in the next video, we'll talk about how you can actually use this um, confirmation success page as your actual special offer. Um, but for this example, we're going to make it our download page. So we're just going to click on Save As. And finally, once your um, download page is up and on the internet, you're going to want to make sure that you've gone to messages and you've set up a follow-up message. You want to go to messages and follow-up. And this works with GetResponse as well. You need to have a follow-up message set up so that as soon as your customers um, click on confirm, they're taken to the download page or to the special offer but also they should be automatically emailed your uh, download page file and you can do that within messages and follow up and that's why autoresponders are so great because it automatically sends out these auto response messages so um, let's just put in here the subject matter and let's just type in um, you know your free download is inside as our subject and then just put in here um, hello and then you can personalize it over here I like to use first name fix within uh, Aweber just on a side note and that way that'll fix things like if they put their first name in lowercase or um, you know like just different things that will actually kind of fix that their name for it so it actually looks professional so um, that's what will happen there so let's just plug this in here um, here is a link to download or thank you for signing up For signing up here is your free um, video course or your free report whatever the case might be um, please let me know if I can do anything at all for you I look forward to sharing some great information with you in the future and then sincerely and then you can make that your name your name would go there so uh, basically that's all it needs to be just needs to be short sweet thank you for signing up here's your free video course here's your free report um, of course it doesn't have to always be a video course so it could be a free report could be a free audio you're just gonna you know copy and paste that then copy and paste your direct download link and then um, you are good to go I typically don't, you know, like to have that link be tracked. Some people do. Um, you can choose whether or not to track uh, the download page link. I like to just kind of keep it there. So if they want, they can copy and paste that link as well, easier. And um, all you have to do at the end there is click on Save Messages. So just click on Save Messages. And it'll take just a moment here, and your follow-up message is already set up. Your message has been saved. So now, as soon as they click on Confirm, they're going to be automatically sent the download in their email as well. So um, they're going to get uh, either sent directly to the download page, plus they'll get it in their email, or they're going to be set to a special offer, which we'll talk about in the next video. And once they're sent to the special offer, then they're automatically emailed this way. So no matter what, after you set all this stuff up and you make it live on the internet, make sure you've gone back into Aweber or get response and set up your follow-up message. And um, you've considered, you know, you obviously have changed your web form so that it does go to the right forms uh, that you're using and everything. So it goes to your custom thank you page and everything that you've got set up. So uh, that's the process. Next video, we'll talk about how to set up a special offer so you can make even more money from your list building efforts.